yo what's up everybody welcome back it's kb here so every year i make a video on how to download the windows 10 iso file for free from the official site so this is 2019 and i have to make an update on it and actually there is a new method it's not new method but uh, i haven't showed you in the video how to get the windows 10 iso file directly without using the media creation tool so there will be two methods one using the media creation tool and second direct just the iso file so yeah let's do this so just for your information or just to keep you guys safe if you can please download the windows 10 iso file from the official site because the windows 10 iso file is actually free and downloadable from the official site so this is the official site where you can get the windows 10 iso file and i will put link in the description you can go there and uh, get the windows 10 iso file so first of all what we will do is we will download the windows 10 iso file directly without using the media creation tool so once you are in the site you just right click and click on inspect okay once you click the inspect uh, i'm in a google chrome this will be different in different browser so once you have opened it up you just have to click on this there you can see there toggle device toolbar just click on it that's it now you just have to reload the page i'm just gonna reload like that and now i can actually close the inspect tool and uh, now i can scroll down and you can see we have the option to select edition that means we have to choose windows 10 edition so i'm gonna choose windows 10 may update you can also choose older one if you want i'm just gonna choose the may update confirm and after that i'm gonna choose the language english confirm now you will see the download links for the windows 10 iso file so if you have a 32-bit pc then you can download the 32-bit if you have a 64 download the 64. i have the 64-bit pc i'm just gonna click on 64-bit and you can see the download is now starting so i can show you from here so it's a 4.6 gigabyte and I, I'm just going to cancel it because I have it already. So this is the one way to download the Windows 10 ISO file directly from the official site without using the media creation tool. So now if you want to use the media creation tool, you can use it. So there is a new update to the media creation tool. So I'm just going to show you guys quickly. So I'm just going to open the media creation tool like that and uh, yeah just gonna wait until it opens now it says getting a few things ready and we can get the windows 10 iso file so using a direct um, windows 10 iso file that means you have to make a bootable usb drive using third party application like rufus so if you don't know how to make a bootable usb drive of windows 10 then i have made a lots of tutorials on uh, how to make a windows 10 bootable usb drive so you can watch that video i will put link in the description yeah you can go there and watch so uh, and another thing if you use the media creation tool you can actually make a bootable usb drive directly you don't have to use the third party application but uh, if you get the windows 10 iso file you can reuse that iso file to make a bootable usb drive as many times you like so my recommendation is get a iso file and then make a bootable usb drive because uh, you have to use your usb drive for other things so you may have to format a usb drive and you will lose the bootable usb drive but if you have a iso file you can make a bootable usb drive at any time so you don't have to download the windows 10 iso file again and again so in the media creation tool we have the option to upgrade the pc and create installation media so so if you want you can upgrade your pc uh, but i'm gonna go with the second option and here we can use the recommended options for the iso file but we can also choose the custom so language english edition windows 10 architecture 64 i'm gonna hit next and uh, usb flash drive iso and here you can make a bootable usb drive directly you have to use the usb drive or you can get the iso file but if you get the iso file you have to use the third party application like rufus as i said before so 
I'm going to save the Windows 10 ISO file and you can see that's it. That's how you use the media creation tool. Uh, using a media creation tool, you can make a bootable USB drive just for once. Uh, you can again make a bootable USB drive, but you have to download the Windows 10 ISO file again. So it will download plus make a bootable USB drive. But if you download the Windows 10 ISO file, then you don't have to download the Windows 10 ISO file. You just have to uh, use a application like Rufus to make a bootable USB drive. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I will put link in the description for the official site where you can get the Windows 10 ISO file. So now it's up to you which method you want to use a media creation tool or direct method. So if you get the Windows 10 ISO file and you don't know how to make a bootable USB drive, then I have made lots of videos on it. So I will put link in the description. That's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye bye.